Hey YouTube, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake. Welcome to another Thursday Photoshop tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to manipulate the color of the eyes in your images quickly and easily by using uh, masking and an adjustment layer and the brush tool. Uh, for this, we're going to be actually uh, using the quick mask mode of uh, masking and making selections uh, with a soft brush. So um, go ahead and get ready to jump into that. Okay, you can see here that I've already done the retouching that I wanted to do for this photo, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to click off what I've done for the masking on the eyes for the hue and saturation, and we're going to start that from scratch. Again, this is a Photoshop CC tutorial, but these techniques are not exclusive to Photoshop CC like previous tutorials. This can be done in any version of Photoshop from, I believe, CS3 up. So if you're using modern Photoshop, you can follow along with this tutorial with no problem. Okay, so when working with quick mask, you have to remember that white reveals and black conceals. To go into your quick mask mode, it's going to be shortcut Q. To exit your quick mask mode, once you've made your selection, you're going to just click Q again. Okay. So working with the brush tool here, we're going to be using a soft brush to move over the area of the eye that we want to change the color for when making our selection here in quick mask mode. While we're doing this, uh, just keep in mind that my screen recording program isn't letting me drag very accurately, so I'm having to use clicks. So just uh, bear with me and you're going to see that I'm doing that here on the screen. But um, while you're doing this, you'll be able to drag the brush. And if you're waking, working with a Wacom tablet, this will actually go really quickly and smoothly for you. Also, keep in mind that while we're working in quick mask mode, we're going to be using black to paint in the area for our selection. But in regular masking, uh, for the area that you want to uh, change or to reveal, we'll be using white. And that's why at the end of this, we're actually going to invert our selection. So just remember these things when you're using quick mask mode in the future. So once you've uh, painted all this over in the red from uh, quick mask, this is the area of your um, eye that will be selected that we're going to be changing the color of. So everything that's in red is going to change to whatever color you use when we use our adjustment um, layer mask uh, moving forward here in the next step. Once you've made your selection and you want to apply an adjustment layer, before you do anything else, go ahead and invert your selection by using shift Control i or if you're on a Mac, uh, Command-Shift-I. Once you've inverted your selection, go to your Adjustment Layers panel and select Hue and Saturation and create a Hue and Saturation layer just on your selection which should only select the eyes now. I'm just going to go with my own personal preferences here and make the eye color whatever I think it should be, in this case more of a blue. Once you've got the Hue and Saturation panel open, you can adjust your eye color to be whatever you want. The hue is obviously going to affect the color range. The saturation is going to affect uh, the saturation values, whether the color looks washed out or whether it looks um, very pronounced. And the lightness and darkness, it's fairly obvious and straightforward what those are going to affect in terms of the slider. So just go ahead and do whatever you'd like to get the effect that you're going for. All right, so now um, we've go ahead and we've changed this eye color um, I think this is looking really nice. You can um, make any adjustments you want. Like I said, you don't have to follow um, the exact way that I did this, nor do you have to use the same color values in the slider that I did. Make it your own. But again, this is just a quick and easy way for you to handle changing eye colors in Photoshop. This is very similar to how I approached the change hair tutorial when I did it in Photoshop CS6. Uh, you can see a link to that in the description below. And you should definitely check out that video if you're interested in manipulating hair color specifically. With this, you can also change the blend modes and the opacity just to get whatever effect you're looking for. And um, really just shape this to whatever the needs of your photograph are. That's it for this tutorial. Don't forget, new Photoshop tutorials every Thursday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me your comments. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, you know, try and keep it constructive and positive if you can. If not, don't be uh, surprised if I retaliate. Um, anyway, looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.